Hi, I'm Jeff Gatewood, and I got a piece of Oklahoma Flint right here. Um, got a few cracks and irregularities. What I'm going to try to do is, I'll show you this rock too, a little closer up. Shouldn't take long to get a arrowhead out of this, hopefully. I'm going to try to make a Dalton Classic out of it with the traditional twist and all that. Show you the proper way to make a Dalton Classic. Show you how it's supposed to look. Anyway, I'm going to start. Hopefully I can do something that will help you. Take just a minute to get my camera set where you can see what I'm doing. Bopper. I've noticed that although there is variations in Dalton's, most Dalton classics are pretty closely related. I like the ones with the twists, and every now and then I like one that's got teeth serrations. This is some beautiful Oklahoma Flint. I don't know what type. I think maybe boom. several castings of Dalton Point. None of them has a uh, the typical beveling like I like to see on a Dalton. Well that was a big overshot. bit off a little more of the other side than I wanted. But I've still got plenty of rock left here. Building a clover set almost be good. See, I got my Frito Lay clothes on. They didn't need me tonight, but for about a half a night, so I thought 
or I could make an arrowhead when I got home. Yeah, that's Boy, I love this plant. I don't know what it is. I think it's blue. That sound you hear right there in the background is one of my barred rock hens that got into my wrapping shed today while I was, or my kids were in here anyway, she's, she's in here. That sound is my rooster, he's on the other side where this one's supposed to be. were pretty thin most of them. I've seen some that were just paper thin. Usually the real thin ones though kind of look odd. The soup when they're really thin. Because they usually if they're extremely thin they don't have a bevel. 